want you to go. You're making a big mistake. He's just so lucky that you were there for him. Really. We all are. I've got a present for you. Beautiful day for it. Yeah. How are you feeling? Pretty pleased with myself, actually. I've got no hangover at all. I've got a beautiful woman who's about to commit her life to me. I think I've done something right, Jack. You deserve to be happy, Dad. Thanks, mate. I wonder how Rachel's going, though. She was pretty stressed out yesterday. Oh, well, it's half a course, isn't it? Rise to be. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope she just let her head out of the hens party last night. Cheers, man. Morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept great. Um, no, actually, you know what? I didn't sleep great at all. <laughs> uh, are you helping out at the surf club this morning? Yeah. Need a lift? Uh, no, you go ahead, Alpha. I'll catch up with you later on. All yeah, right, eh? See you later. Bye, bye. Okay, last night, where okay, were we? last night was unexpected. Yes, but nice. But it was felt good. Yeah, I, I think so too. It was nice. Um, and I'm so sorry that I bailed on you afterwards. I was just really confused, especially about Kane and, you know, about everything. So what does this all mean for us exactly? Hello? Um, I didn't know. Hey, you all set? You're early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think we should get down there because, um, apparently the gear hasn't been used for a while, so... Uh, hey, Kirsty. Hi. How's Jai doing? Is he better? He's good. He's doing really well. I'm gonna go and wake up Polly. Can't wait until we get married again. I think we should do it sooner rather than later. Pregnant? Dealing with cancer and planning a wedding? I don't think so. Good point. I'm gonna have to decide what I'm gonna wear. Well, you got heaps of sexy dresses in there. Jack, I'm pregnant. Yeah, but you're barely even showing. Yeah, it's a girl thing you wouldn't understand. Martha, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm so focused on Dad tying the knot that I didn't think about the surgery. It's OK, I'm sure I'll find something to cover it. Besides, today your only job is to be best man, not to worry about me. Oh, hi, guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to um, interrupt. Oh, that's fine. How's Rachel doing? Well, that's actually why I've come to see you. Where's Tony? Oh, he's in the shower. All right, the thing is, um, I can't find Rachel. Do you guys know where she is? What do you mean you can't find her? Well, I've been next door waiting for her for about half an hour. When I arrived this morning, the door was open, so I figured she went for a run or something, but I thought she would have been back by now. Was she called into work? I rang the hospital, they didn't call her in, and I've called the beautician and the hairdresser, just in case she's changed her mind and made an appointment. I don't know, do you think Tony might know where she'd be? Well, do you think we should ask him that now? If it's just a misunderstanding, she's on her way home, then shouldn't we wait to tell him? Yeah, I, I think you're right. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for where she is. And it all just came out of my mouth. Poor Kirsten didn't know it either. I hope you left out the part where you kept seeing her in her underwear. <laughs> Sorry. Look, she's got so much to deal with. She's already confused about Kane. She's got all this to take in. Yeah, and she's got Ollie to think about as well. See, that's the other thing. Some of we live alone. I mean, if this does go on, there are other people to consider. There's Alf and there's Jai and there's Ollie. And we live together. And there's added pressure and we just won't be able to escape each other. But you've had no issues so far. No, but if something does happen, then it will be different. It's not like any other beginnings of a relationship where you can just kiss them at the door and say goodbye. Whatever it is that you do. I'm just not very good at this. No one is, mate. I had no idea that she felt that way when she kissed me. When Kane told me to move on, I'd, I never in a million years thought I'd be kissing another guy in a matter of months. Well, I hate to have to say this, doll, but I saw it coming a mile away. What? Well, you and Miles have just become so close. I don't know, you just clicked. I know. We get along really well. He's he's a fantastic guy, you know, and I love being around him and Jai. He loves 
Ollie. But I'm just really worried that if we start a relationship, I mean, what are people going to think? Who cares what people think, love? You deserve to be happy. I know. Maybe I can get past all of that, but it just still feels like betrayal. Kate and I are still married for a start. Yeah, I know that. But maybe it's time to move on, love. He said for you to get a new life. And, you know, maybe this is it. We don't get too many chances at happiness. I just don't want to mess it up, Irene. I don't want to hurt Miles. I don't want to hurt Jai. I don't want to hurt Ollie. And I don't want to hurt myself. I just have to make the right decision. Hey! hey. Well, the place is coming along. Yeah, oh, nick of time. I've only got a couple of hours. <clears throat> Has Nicole heard from Elliot? No, thank God. She broke it off with him last night, so I am. <laughs> that explains your good mood then. Mm. Hey, listen, um, I, I know we had that mix up with Mia a couple of days ago, and I've been preoccupied with Elliot, but that's behind me now, so I'd really like to spend some more time with you. Okay. So, how about a boogie at the wedding to start it off? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Cool. See ya. See ya. Hello?